Hey there, this is Nils Beautiful, and today we are making a mushroom chest armor from leather. We start with the pattern, print it out, tape it together and cut it out. And then we just transfer it on our veg tanned leather. I used mostly 3.5mm leather here, which has good thickness for armor. After some drying time we get our swivel knife and cut all these lines that we just marked. They are supposed to be some kind of roots, so they are supposed to be a little bit wibbly wobbly. Next we go in some tooling. Here I start with a backgrounder to go along all these lines just on one side and get a little bit of a fade out and then use a beveler to get all these lines deep and nice. For these little mushroom witch circles it's pretty much the same, just the other way around. I start with the beveler and then go in with the backgrounder. For some texture in the middle I use a stone and just hammer it on the leather. All the base pieces we don't need to cut out exactly. Only on the front belly pieces we need to cut out these edges exactly. All the top pieces on the other hand we want to cut out exactly. For bigger cutouts you simply can use your cutting knife. On smaller I prefer to go in with the swivel knife first to get a marking and then use some small blades, which actually here are from wood carving, and cut out the rest. Next I'm using a groove cutter reverse, so I push it and this way I don't cut, I only mark to get three parallel lines to the edges. And with a bone folder I deepen the second and third line. Now I use a beveler on the third line and with the deepen of the bone folder I don't really need a swivel knife first. On the first line I add some stamps for decoration. And then some additional leaves here, just a little bit random here and there. And also the stone. Now we can bevel all the edges and punch some holes. I bend the leather pieces a little bit here to make the piece stand a little bit more out and to make sure this later on stays this way I add some scrap straps and simply glue them on the flesh side. I ended up with about 7mm of straps and note please that on to the bottom and to the side where later on the D-ring will be, it flattens out. Now we can dye everything. I'm using green and brown for this. I start with a green layer and then add a dark brown cover on the edges. To finish up the dyeing process I go over everything with some resist after I dried some antique gel and another coat of resist just to make sure the color stays in. We also need some mushrooms and how to make these I have linked you the videos right here. We are start to assemble now, but before we do so, we want to make sure that we know where we want to put our mushrooms. There is only one rule, you want to stay above this line with the out sticking part. 
Make sure that when you apply the glue that the areas where the mushrooms later on will be are free from it. We sew everything until we reach the area where we want to position our mushrooms. So we put them in position, cut the holes completely through and sew them on. But very important is to also sew them on not on the base only but also on an additional part to keep them strong. And just in the same manner you do it also for the other side. Now we are taking care of all the excess leather on the base pieces. We cut away the excess, sand the edges, bevel them, dye them and burnish them. To shape the pieces, moisten them from the flesh side and then bend them in a more body fitting shape. And your first belly piece is done. Now we just need two additional of these belly pieces, some chest pieces, some back pieces and a bunch of buckle pieces. On the lowest belly piece we also want to apply this piece. So we clamp it in position, mark the holes for the rivets, punch them and set the rivets. For the chest we got three pieces and we simply use rivets and sewing as before to attach them together. This piece was a little bit too soft for me, so I harden it by putting it in my sink full of hot water and then put it in for around 10 minutes and then let it dry. To attach the pieces movable together, I use backpack straps together with rivets. And now piece by piece we attach all the front pieces to the straps. This way we get very well moving armor for our front side. To give the upper back piece a little bit more shape we got these little cutouts here which we simply sew together. Next we can rivet our buckle pieces on all of the back. To connect our two back pieces we do it the same way as the front. To put front and back together we need a few straps. We got two sizes of shoulder straps and some side straps. 
On the side straps I also attach pressure buttons to make it easier to get in and out of the armor on your own. The shoulder straps I rivet on and it's important that the larger one goes on the outside of the shoulder. And this is almost it. I had another idea, so I took a rectangular thin piece of leather and made some cuts in it. This way you can easily pull it apart. And after dyeing everything, I moistened it and carefully pulled it everything apart and gave it a more half round shape. There are supposed to be some growing mushrooms on the surface, so I put three in total on my armor. And this is now really it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I personally really liked how everything turned out, but it was just a ton of work to be done. It's just a very large project and it really takes some time. So thanks again and have a great day.